Time, let's talk about escaping Afghanistan. Massachusetts is now welcoming its first evacuees from that nation. The family of three arrived in the state yesterday. Another is expected tomorrow night. Those are among the nearly 1,000 evacuees expected to come to the state in the next few weeks. Here's WBZ's Zania Maldonado. Boston's Refugee and Immigrant Assistance Center welcomed their first family fleeing Afghanistan here at Logan Airport Friday night, and now they say they're preparing for the arrival of hundreds more. We received a family, a husband and wife with a little boy, so we're excited and thrilled that the first arrival has come. Meg Gallo is a community specialist for Boston's Refugee and Immigrant Assistance Center. She says the center is notified by the federal government when a family will be coming to their agency, sometimes only a few days in advance, and they plan on welcoming another family of five from Afghanistan to Boston Sunday night. So we are getting uh, housing ready, we'll be moving them into apartments, and then introducing them to members of the community that can help them learn about Massachusetts. Many of those fleeing Afghanistan are entering the U.S. as evacuees, which means they do not qualify for as many resources as refugees. And Gallo says this makes it more difficult for the organization to secure permanent housing and funding. There are so many things that um, people in the community can do if people are interested in uh, supporting and assisting with the effort to welcome these new members of our community. We are collecting all kinds of um, donations in terms of furniture or school supplies or clothing. Nearly 1,500 evacuees coming from Afghanistan are set to be placed throughout New England, and out of that group, 900 individuals are set to come here to Massachusetts. At Logan Airport, Sania Maldonado, WBZ News.